At UFC on ESPN 31, the two-time featherweight champ Jose Aldo proved he's still in the mix for a bantamweight title shot by outpointing Rob Font over five rounds. It was his third consecutive win in the division, but he's not going after the champ just yet. After a slow start, Aldo dropped Font in the dying seconds of round one, and it was all one-way traffic from there. Font, who was on a four-fight winning streak and eyeing off a title shot himself, simply couldn't compete with the veteran's output, work rate, and accurate striking. Since his bantamweight debut, Aldo has already fought for the title twice, with his most recent failed championship bid coming in just 2020 to Petter Jan. Because of that, it's unlikely that Aldo has earned another shot so soon, but he has a plan. Of course I want to fight for the title, but we don't know what's going to happen with that, Aldo admitted after the fight. TJ Dillashaw is right there, so I want to fight Dillashaw. The two-time bantamweight champ Dillashaw recently returned after a two-year doping suspension to beat Corey Sandhagen. He's been recovering from knee surgery, but reports say he could be ready for early in the new year, and an elimination bout between the two makes sense. In the co-main, Rafael Fiziev just about took his former training partner and friend Brad Riddle's head off with a spinning wheel kick in the third round. The two trained Muay Thai together in Thailand four years ago, and as expected, the fight was a competitive stand-up affair, with both men looking worse for wear. But Fiziev waited patiently, and when the opening appeared, he put Riddle out. Fazeev scored one of the four performance bonuses, as did Jamal Hill, Clay Guida, who is somehow still winning, and Chris Curtis. Cheyenne Bays and Mallory Martin won fight of the night. 2022 will see the return of a UFC Hall of Famer, as the former light heavyweight champ Rashad Evans makes his comeback to the cage. Sugar Rashad, who's been retired since 2018, is set to fight for Khabib Nurmagomedov's MMA promotion, Eagle FC, at its first United States event this coming January. The 42-year-old Evans had previously stated his desire to box, calling out the YouTuber Logan Paul and former champion Roy Jones Jr. But with neither of those bouts coming to fruition, the UFC legend has moved on. And the legacy of the retired UFC lightweight champion and potential MMA GOAT, Khabib Nurmagomedov, is being questioned by two future Hall of Famers. The two-time UFC bantamweight champion Dominic Cruz was first to comment on Khabib's GOAT status due to the timing of the former champ's retirement. Any athlete who left the sport undefeated, I question, are you really undefeated or did you not challenge yourself as hard as you could? It's a surprising criticism, as Khabib's undefeated record is one of the prime reasons for the lightweight great being named the GOAT. And the second champ to criticize Khabib is Khabib's arch nemesis and vanquished foe Conor McGregor, which should be of no surprise to anyone. Khabib has never called himself the greatest and is famous for shying away from such media designated titles. But McGregor has thoughts on this, and for once, they might actually stand up to scrutiny. He cried in the cage, asking to be put on top of a media-appointed list, bro, he tweeted. He was a good fighter for those few weeks, all right, lol. Retiring takes you from all lists, though. He retired and at the same time cried to be placed on one. Perhaps that's as close to a win as McGregor will ever get over the Eagles. And at Bellator 272, Sergio Pettis was about to be down four rounds to none until a spinning backfist put Kyoji Horaguchi completely to sleep. And in the co-main, Jeremy Kennedy beat Emmanuel Sanchez by unanimous decision. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.